Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Tanut here. Hey, have you guys ever been somewhere with your Blackberry or your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod uh, and uh, you were waiting and uh, you really needed that device to um, stay charged a little bit longer? Well, I recently had to wait somewhere for about four hours and uh, I had an iPad and I had my Blackberry and uh, both of them uh, were running down. One I forgot to charge the night before and the other one uh, I was using to, you know, to deal with the boredom of waiting and uh, the uh, battery started dying and I was in a place that didn't have any outlets uh, even if it did I didn't have my charger with me so uh, I was kind of stuck and I really could have used some way to charge those devices or at least keep them going for a little bit longer well uh, when I got back from this place and uh, that whole ordeal uh, I went online to look for uh, you know a charger to have an extra one with me, uh, but while I was doing that, I uh, was searching on uh, you know just you know batteries, ex extra extended batteries, and I came across a product called a Spire power bank. So it turns out our friends at Performance PCs actually had the Spire power bank in stock. So uh, I asked them if it would be okay if I did a review on it, and they were kind enough to send me one. So what I'm going to do is you know I will put it through its paces, uh, but first let's take. Uh, a close-up look at it and uh, see what uh, is inside the box alright so what we got here is on the package we have the power bank um, which um, uh, packs uh, 4400 milliamps per hour basically that's 4.4 amps uh, per hour that uh, this thing um, could provide a charge for and it depends on your device uh, actually and how much juice it requires so if uh, Theoretically, if your device needed uh, one, you know, ran over one milliamp per hour to charge, then it could last for 4,400 hours. So, um, but we're going to do some real-world testing on this. We'll see. The model number is an SPB4400EU. Uh, this is a Spire powered by innovation, and basically, the you know the the marketing on the package says it's ideal travel companion. It's a lightweight power source. It also has a built-in LED torch light, and it comes with a two-year warranty. Features, um, it has a, uh, an LED light, as we said. Um, it's widely compatible, powerful long-time operation, portable and convenient, high efficiency of power conversion, electricity saving function, and environmentally friendly and economic efficiency. So the specs here, you can see it's, um, it's, not, a, it's not that large of a device um, and uh, takes uh, 5 volts at 1 amp. The output is also 5 volts at 1 amp and uh, it is row house com compliant. And uh, let's see here, net weight is 135 grams, gross weight 240. And, and it talks about uh, the different types of phones and players that uh, it will support. And so let's see actually what we got inside the package now. So in the package we have the Spire power bank itself. We have an adapter cable which has a standard USB connector at one end and then the adapter end which which takes on uh, each of these different um, adapters for your devices. So here we have a uh, micro USB port which is used on I know on Blackberries and a, a ton of other devices and actually I believe that's the one you also use to uh, charge the Spire power bank. Then you have a mini USB power adapter also used quite quite a bit on a bunch of uh, your products out there. Um, here we have a um, that's an Apple uh, connector for uh, everything except the of course the new i5 phone. The i5 has that new uh, smaller connector on it but this um, uh, handles all of your iPods and iPhones up through I guess the 4S. And we have here the um, Samsung. This is a Samsung um, power uh, adapter connector. And then this guy here is for a PSP and uh, devices uh, with this uh, Sony uh, power connection interface. So let's have a look now at the um, power bank itself. It's about uh, four inches long, roughly about. Um, Two inches, um, two inches wide by about an inch and a half thick. Um, here you have the uh, power button. When you press the power button, you have an LED that comes on below here. It tells you it's on, and then there's three LEDs along the top.
uh, tell indicate what how much charge is left in this uh, in the uh, in the power bank. Uh, one indicates that it's um, five to thirty percent charged. Two is that it's uh, between thirty and eighty percent charged, which this is out of the box. And then uh, the third one says it's between, between eighty and hundred percent charged. So um, so that's the way you, what you see here is the way it comes out of the uh, package. Then at the top end um, you have um, the uh, USB standard USB connector, um, and then you have here the uh, micro USB connector, and then an LED. This is the connected that you would interface to this uh, to the adapter to be able to charge it, and then the standard USB is when you're going to be plugging that in and charging a, a device. So uh, that's a pretty good uh, setup that they did there. So you use the same connectors here to charge other or charge other devices or uh, and the same interface cable to charge this itself and then there's an LED light you'll see there and when I press the light here I think after three seconds the LED light I press it for a couple seconds it comes on and then you turn it off so you have a little bit of a uh, handy light in case you're searching to find uh, the power connector on your device in a uh, poorly lit area or for you ladies maybe in your purse and you don't want to bother somebody but uh, anyway so this is device here now in order to charge it like I said I believe what you got to do here is what you're gonna do is take the uh, micro USB connector plug it in here and then plug this in here and uh, you can plug this into um, any uh, desktop PC or, or anything that has uh, DC 5 volts with over 500 milliamps. So that's what you need. But basically any, any computer USB port, your laptop if it's plugged in. Um, and also some AC-DC USB adapters or universal power adapters with a micro USB port can also uh, um, uh, charge this. Okay. So to charge your... Uh, device all you got to do is either use your uh, original power cable that for your device if it has the right connections or you would use this um, certainly this adapter and uh, connect it to your device and then you press the on button and or the on off switch and it'll start charging the power indicator on our on your device should start light up and show that it's charging and uh, when it's fully charged you'll remove the cable here and then press the on off button here to turn off the power bank. So now uh, let's gonna go ahead and put it to the test. Um, first I need to charge it up and then after I charge it up uh, I've got a couple of devices that um, are gonna take some charging. I've got an iPad, my Blackberry and uh, I think there's an iPhone and maybe an iPod laying around here somewhere and what I'll do is I'll note the um, charge of the device before I use it and I'll record how long it took to charge it and then uh, see if I can put it through the paces a couple times and see how how long it takes to charge this guy back up after it's fully drained so uh, it'll be a couple of days uh, of using this um, but you're gonna get the uh, outcome right now alright here we have a Blackberry and this Blackberry is about what's that less than a quarter less than a quarter full of charge and you see what time it is about 725 I'm going to check the uh, Spire power bank press the button and yep it charged up it's got three full bars so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my phone and let's see how long it takes for it to charge up Alright, and you can see and you can see that there's a charge indicator up in the top left hand corner. So uh, starting at 724 p.m. let's see how long it takes to charge this guy okay. up. So I just checked and uh, it took about an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. But actually, it may have charged up sooner. I wasn't I wasn't checking it regularly. So let's see. Now that it's been charged, my BlackBerry that took about an hour and twenty minutes. Maybe it was a little more like an hour ten. Let's see how much battery charge is left after that. 
Wow, that still shows three three lights. So that's still 80 to 100 percent charged. Oh, I just turned the light on. All right, so that's pretty impressive. Let's find something else to charge. All right, I have an iPad here. Okay, using the adapter, and uh, we are now uh, charging. So the iPad with um, 71 percent charge, 13 percent, but it took the rest of the charge out of the uh, Spire power bank. So probably not a fair test, but it did charge it up in about an hour and a half. It, it added a good 13 percent to um, to the iPad, and this is one of the new generation. I guess it's the generation three iPads. Um, so uh, anyway, let me charge it uh, up fully, and then we'll see how well it does. Okay, now we have the uh, Spire power bank charging a, an iPod. This iPod was uh, pretty much completely drained and uh, needed to be charged. It's a 180 gigabyte uh, iPod, and we have. I just pulled this off the uh, system from charging, so you can see it's fully charged and is indicating that it is charged. so we have the uh, iPod now charged from the uh, Spire power bank let's see how much remains on the Spire uh, two bright bars that's about up to 80 percent of the, the charge yep and the iPod is completely charged now that took about I think about an hour I believe from the clock here so let's uh, wrap this up so over the last couple of days, I was able to use the Aspire power bank on a few devices. I was able to charge my BlackBerry completely from nothing, um, all the way to a full charge in about uh, 60 minutes, about an hour. And I was able to top off um, the uh, iPad, about 15% uh, added charge, in about an hour and a half. Uh, and that was actually using the residual power left after I charged my BlackBerry. So I didn't... Uh, top off the iP uh, iPad with uh, a brand new charged um, power bank. I used what was left and it did a good job. That took about an hour and a half I think to charge the uh, uh, iPad up um, I don't know, 15%. And then on the uh, I had an iP uh, iPod as well that was completely drained and that iPod took about an hour and a half to charge and that was charged on a, a full from a full uh, Spire battery and this actually had about 50% left charge after it charged the iPod. So uh, again, I was presently surprised about uh, how this thing worked and how well it was able to charge. Um, I went uh, somewhere, uh, I mentioned in the intro, that I had to wait for about uh, an, uh, four hours and my I, uh, iPad drained and my Blackberry drained and I didn't have a charger and if I had something like this I could have plugged it in and used my device while this was plugged into it charging or I probably could have you know, let it go for the time I was waiting I could have let it charge up quite a bit to be able to use it so um, I think this thing is a great backup uh, tool to have and you know keep it it fits you know it's small fits in your uh, you know in your backpack or your briefcase uh, you know keep it in your car if you, you know put it in your purse um, and you would able to have a, a backup plan if you were uh, you forgot your charger uh, or you're in a place if you go camping or something, you know, yeah camping you're supposed to be roughing it Hey, if you're you know, if, if I'm camping, I'm bringing my Blackberry or my iPad so uh, Anyway for uh, sick circumstances like that. I think that uh, it's it's definitely worth um, having and it's inexpensive uh, I believe this is on sale at performance PCs now for about uh, $40 and uh, y You know it's certainly worth um, having in your in your as a backup plan for um, your uh, key electronic devices. So thanks again to Performance PCs for sponsoring this and giving me the opportunity to show you guys uh, how it works. Uh, I hope you like this, and if you did, please like and favorite. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe. Um, that's it from uh, Ron's and Nut. Thanks for watching.